Well, some weather up say it's clear right now. And it's yeah. Fine rain, so Yeah, we can come back a week on Saturday to finish it when it stops raining. Good. <laughs> and I swear to God, that is the best lemon cake I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Our 16 mil rebar, which uh, is going to give us some strength on this corner. Um, Dad's going to get the copings cut now while I get some more block and loaders out ready for tomorrow. Happy Thursday. The Thursday the 24th of August day, the day after the um, trip out to Blackpool Pleasure Beach for the, the Big Dipper's happy birth, 100th birthday. So um, we ended up walking about six miles yesterday, so my leg's done. But back to work now, which is these, 150 of these I think. Six inch hollows, well they're more like 140 mil. So um, there's our blocks, there's our sand and cement, and there should be a couple of flags under there. Some there they go. There's the flags. They're, they're getting cut down for the copings. Just show you them. You know, it's just a utility wall. It can always be rendered or clad. So we're a bit late because the stuff hasn't didn't come straight away, and it's raining, but not too bad. So there you go, this is the concrete I did the other day, which you will have seen on the video. We're now, how many days later? Stack them um, frog down. What's going to be hard to do when they're all frog up? Well, you have to turn them before you bring them, because you've got to build them. You build them the other way up. Otherwise, we're going to use a lot of mortar. So there you go, that's it. One block return, eight courses high. So uh, the rain is going off and it's forecast to stop today. So we're just going to blast this out and see how far we get today without working till stupid o'clock. Well, we're not finishing this, so... No, not now. The weather... Yeah, it's, time. it's 20 past nine now, so weather forecast isn't particularly good. Well, some weather apps say it's clear right now. And it's yeah. Fine rain, so just Yeah, we can come back a week on Saturday to finish it when it stops raining. Good. <laughs> yeah, crap weather. So yeah, we're just going to work till normal time today and see how far we get. What I'm going to do is nip to JM Steel and get probably a six foot length of 14 mil rebar, and I'm going to drill it, drill this for um, this end of the pillar, insert it into the concrete, and then we're going to concrete this this section. Or we're going to gobble it with sand and cement as we go because these holes aren't that big but anyway we're going to do that so this pillar gives it a bit more rigidity because it's going to hang big gates across here so instead of it just being freestanding we're going to anchor it to the ground so I'm going to put this camera down put it on time lapse grab a wheelbarrow and help Alex Not doing too bad. That's about a pack and pack and a half moved. They're heavy, they're heavy them after a long day in the theme park. But 
they're not as heavy as them. Uh, they were tough going, but thankfully these aren't as bad. There's some uh, old ones, I think these are older ones in here, so those ones are a bit heavier. So we'll try and make sure we get them on the bottom course, courses. Um, that's nothing to JM, because what we're going to do is we're going to get a piece of steel rod to put in the return part, because... Well, what's with all the hand gestures? And <laughs> the steel rod's going in to reinforce the return where the gate's going to be. So he's going to do that, we're going to have a, we'll have a quick break, because uh, moving blocks is uh, hung hungry work when you're tired. So, while he's gone, I'll just get a few more blocks loaded out and we'll uh, see you after break probably. We'll get a mix started then as well. See you then. Dad's back, he's got his, uh, got his little rebar hole. Who is the fellow you met? Marcus. Marcus? So, I promise I'd mention you Marcus. He was just grabbing me at James Steele. He said that he watches all the videos and uh, he said to thank Alex as well. So, it's always nice to meet people who watch and subscribe. So yeah, thanks for, thanks for stopping by saying hi. There you go. My mix is almost ready. We had a completely be like beyond wet bag of sand. So I just took a while to mix up in there. And another point I just want to make. A client just came out and she must uh, she must like bake cakes for events. Because she brought out some lemon cake and I swear to god that is the best lemon cake I've ever had in my life. I, I was I was scared of it at first because there was like cream and stuff on it, but um... Lots of cream in it. Yeah, but well, bloody hell. That, I, I was hearing gospels in my head when I was eating that. We're breaking out the uh, the big fixed bricks. Yeah. I think... I forgot how they work. I think it needs WD in it. What, what? I, I think you're overcomplicating it. Let, let me let me sort this out. We sorted it. He's uh, <laughs> we got the fifth brick ready now. So I think it's our first time using them on a big uh, six inch block. There's our mix. Probably get a bit more water in that. Thankfully the sun's coming out. Only took it only took it a uh, good few hours. Put it on properly. There you go. Thank you, Richard. I can give them back, so I need to go and find another penny clamp. They're called penny clamps, the bigger ones. Yeah, and there's your standard 100 mil. I'm not sure if Dad's mentioned, but we've also traced the bond out. The plan is hopefully, hopefully, we can uh, get these cuts measured and get them all cut today, because we're definitely going back tomorrow. So, if we can get all these cuts ready, we can just blitz these in the next day. That's hopefully the plan. I'll uh, see what see what boss man says. So anyway, I'll get you set up like I said, and we will get cracking. Right, well this day's got away from us. It's half a day gone. Which is disappointing. But anyway, we know the concrete's level because we put that in to the flags, and the flags were checked for level. And even if it's within 10, 20 mil, we'll get that. So the plan now is get this block set here, square it up, get the piece cut and then the block for the bonding, so it'll be a small piece to throw it for the bond, set them, then at the opposite end, see we've already dry bonded it, the opposite end has got a piece, be a piece, but as we do on the brickwork, we'll put the four one on the end, fix brick it, fix brick it there, run it through to here and that'll give us our piece. And then next course it'll be a half and then a piece. So the three quarter will be in a block and a half, block, half, and then. So you never see the three quarter going up the wall. We always throw it back. It's easy for running as well. So we can put a full block, next course at half, and then running in again. Get this. It should be the same piece, but you never hear, you never make assumptions. So um, that's the plan. Alex should be back in a minute. He's got the mix in. Uh, I've got the cutting station set up there, so I've got a barrel full of block there. There's a half block, you just whack that straight in half for your halves. You get a few of them in each pack. You get about four, I think, in each full pack. So there's a plenty of doing the cuts. Our trusty MX Fuel Saw, absolute beauty, that I absolutely love that machine. And obviously you don't have to plug in anywhere, you can cut anywhere. So I'm cutting on the job here. Um, yeah, that's it. 
let's um, get the trowels out and start making, start building something. Because this was supposed to be done today, but it's not getting done today. Yeah. So a little time lapse while I get while I get myself sorted. We'll catch you in a bit. I think this box is too little, cool, but yeah, I'm trying to. Okay. Yeah, I've got my claw back in. I can move down better. Put your face, put the pants down. And then get your little trowel, pull it. Yeah.
should have ordered a chunk of egg sandwich. Oh, yeah. Do that, I'm getting my buddy. Get the fingers. You get your key on. No, he didn't get any out for me. Thank you. 
Right, I'm on 12% so we're going to make this quick. Got two close up, got our bond, got our piece size. Slightly out of level at that end but we can get that just gradually getting a couple of mil each time. I've obviously got to cut the copings yet. I've got four more pieces to cut. These are the pieces for the other end. I think it's 340. Works the same for both courses luckily. Which doesn't really make any difference to be honest. So um, before I put this return on this corner I've just got the 20 mil drill bit and drilled a hole down there. You can't really see it, but it's drilled. It's gone down about nine inches. So now I've got a bit of water. I'm going to put some cement in and make a slurry. Pour that into that hole and then bang that in. Our 16 mil rebar, which uh, is going to give us some strength on this corner because we're going to fill these holes. I might even set these blocks upside down. The, on this on this side set them upside down then we can um, fill the holes up as we go um, yeah that's the plan just to just to uh, fill the holes up and make the uh, uh, thingy rigid oh no I noticed the gates fell over uh, obviously it's not attached to anything anymore so I might just have to move that out of the way and we need to get around that side to point up uh, luckily the customers on the customers neighbours are on holiday so the dog the dog isn't there so it's open so it doesn't really matter while I'm not there. I'm waffling again. So let me get this cement in here and get this board in here and get that banged in. So I think we're set. There we go, nice runny slurry. bar into the 20 mil hole So, now that's in, we have to get our pieces and knock the top in, which makes it so we can slide it over the top of that, put the bed back off, I forgot about this, embedded it.
jobs are good and so now block over the top of that piece in block fits brick whack it in no cornering up today we're just going to lock and run no need to build corners when you've got the fits bricks especially when they're being a six inch block you've got the weight so you can give them a good pull so yeah i want to get a quick lunch now and then get back at it i'm going to try and break it back today so we've not got much left to do tomorrow if it's right if it's dry enough so see after dinner
Well, halfway finished isn't awful, considering it was a uh, late start and a flat start. Not too bad. But there you go, we're halfway through. Four courses up, four more to go. Dad's got a bit of a corner going on here. There's our fitzies. And there's our extra support. But yeah, tomorrow it'll just be get this up and finished. Um, Dad's going to get the copings cut now while I get some more block and loaders out ready for tomorrow. So that way, when we do get here, yeah, I say tomorrow, whenever the weather's not bad, because tomorrow is forecast bad, so we'll see what happens the next time we're here. Um, but I'll get the blocks loaded out so we can just get started. Fingers crossed for good weather. We'll um, probably I'll set you up while I'm loading out, and then we'll uh, catch you catch you later.